Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to study the characteristics of good receiver. So there are basic three important characteristics of a good receiver, the selectivity, the sensitivity and fidelity. Now we are going to discuss them one by one. The so selectivity is the ability of a device to respond to particular frequency without interference from other frequency. So in case of receiver, we can say that selectivity is how well the receiver picks up the right frequency band that is the desired station without interference of other frequencies or the other stations. So greater selectivity implies greater rejection of unwanted signal frequencies and less interference. So basically selectivity is the ability to separate desired station from undesired ones. Now we know that in the receiver we have the RF section where we have the tuneable filter. So basically the selectivity of the receiver is the selectivity of the tuneable filter. Now let us understand this graphically. For example, I have filter which is like this. And this is my desired frequency. Let this be my desired frequency. This is my one filter. And again I have an, another filter over here whose this is for example my another filter which is like this and now this is this again is my desired frequency let's suppose this is FC and this is also FC now the selectivity of this filter is greater because it is able to pick up the desired frequency signal and it is able to reject other frequency signal the interference frequencies better whereas this signal this is also picking up the desired frequency signal but the other uh, frequency signals which is for example this frequency signal this frequency signal this frequency signal this is not uh, able to suppress these frequency signals this is not able to reject these frequency signals so we have interference over here so that's why we have poor selectivity over here and this is my poor selectivity and this is good selectivity so this is good selectivity because this signal is able to pick the desired frequency very well and reject other frequencies where this signal is not able to reject other frequencies or other stations very well next is the sensitivity the sensitivity of a receiver is the measure of the ability of the receiver to pick up weak signal and amplify it so basically it is a measure of the minimum signal, uh, signal strength that a receiver can detect and process. So good sensitivity means that a receiver can detect low power signal and process it successfully. By process we mean that we can amplify it successfully. Let us understand this by an example. For example I have two receivers, receiver 1 and receiver 2. I have eliminated other sections of the receiver, I am only left with the RF section for better understanding and I have loudspeakers at the end suppose the power required to function this loudspeaker is 10 watt similarly the power required to function this loudspeaker is also 10 watt now for example the minimum signal strength that this receiver can detect and amplify is 1 watt so this receiver can detect 1 watt signal and less than 1 watt signal this receiver cannot detect and then I am going to use an amplifier which will be the which is going to amplify this signal by 10 and when this amplify this signal by 10 I am going to get 10 watt signal which is uh, required to function this loudspeaker but if I get less than 1 watt signal for example I get 0 0.5 watt signal then when that 0 0.5 is multiplied by 10 I am going to get 5 watt and in this case this loudspeaker will not function so the minimum signal strength that this receiver can detect and amplify is 1 watt and suppose I have the receiver 2 where the minimum signal strength that this receiver can detect and amplify is 0.1 watt. So I am going to use an amplifier of 100 over here and this 0.1 watt will be multiplied by 100 to get the 10 watt. Now this receiver can at minimum detect a 1 watt signal whereas this receiver at minimum can detect a 0.1 watt signal so this receiver is able to detect a weaker signal than this receiver that is why this receiver number 2 has better sensitivity than the receiver number 1 
Why is it so? Because this receiver is able to detect the weaker signal as compared to this receiver. So this receiver has better sensitivity as compared to the receiver number one. Fidelity actually means faithfulness, loyalness. So fidelity is the measure of the ability of the receiver to reproduce all the frequency components of the message signal. The message signal in case of receiver is basically the audio signal which is transmitted by the transmitter. So fidelity basically measures how well the receiver has reproduced all the frequency components of the audio signal that the transmitter has transmitted without eliminating any frequency components. If none of the frequency components of the message signal or audio signal is eliminated then there will be no distortion. So high fidelity basically implies less distortion. So these were the characteristics of a good receiver. Thank you.